if Washington is committed to making him the starting quarterback, why come in at such a low number? Well, hey, that's something you have to ask the Washington Redskins, how they feel about their offer at $53 million fully guaranteed. So you have to ask them why they came in at that number. Ask why didn't Kirk make a counteroffer? Why didn't his sport, why didn't his representation make a counteroffer? So why do you why think why do you, you think you Kirk did it? Because look, that's that's negotiating. Because he doesn't want to be there. <laughs> if he wanted to be there, there you, you would you would make mm -hmm. the offer. You mm -hmm. would you would counter. Look, we, we've all been in contract negotiations. This isn't something that's just specific to football. But we we come we negotiate contracts at ESPN, MLB, NHL all the time. And a contract negotiation is just that. Make an offer then. And then meet somewhere in the middle. Don't just sit there and, and whine and cry and have a whole bunch of people saying that they're disrespecting you. Make an offer. If they turn you down, then walk. Bet on yourself again in 2017 that you're not going to get hurt. Yeah. And then bet on yeah. the fact that, you know, like, look, right now everybody's talking about the fact that, like, 2018 is already in the bank. This is what he's going to get. He's going to get the $34 million from Washington, which they're probably not going to do. Or he's going to break the bank and get $100 million guaranteed from San Francisco or Cleveland or any other team with some ridiculous amount of cap money. As if everything is guaranteed going forward for Kirk, which it's not. He could have had $53 million in his pocket now. Or make an offer, shoot for the moon. You say you have the most leverage of any quarterback in history. We've heard all this. Then make the offer. If they, if they walk away from the table – then everybody can just go ahead and take their subjective shots at crushing the Redskins and, and their reputation and their history all you want. And you know what? Maybe justifiably so. It's just, a, it, it's just, to me, as a former player and as a front office person, if I'm a player and I believe in myself, I'm telling you what I think I'm worth. And I'm making you tell me, no, I'm not worth that. I'm not going to sit there and have people doing it for me and having people say, well, he's being disrespected and all this, and never making a formal statement yourself about what you wanted. But the Redskins do it, and people kill them because they say, well, it doesn't, that's not really fair value. That's not really what Kirk, Kirk deserves. Okay, well, look, I, this isn't a matter about what he deserves. It's about what he can get.